Hi, it's Luan from Google Tech and welcome back to my series of editing large ATL file. I have done a couple of videos uh, with Fusion 360 and Blender and today we're gonna do the same with Tinkercad. For those who didn't follow those videos, uh, what I wanted to do is I got a code hook uh, file from Thingiverse and um, it came with this original hole which doesn't fit in my place. And uh, I redesigned uh, this kind of hole in FreeCAD and I want to add it to the STL file so that I can hook it in the bar like in the photo here. This show you one more option uh, when you need to edit STL file that you download somewhere. And this, uh, if you're interested in the series, uh, please subscribe to my channel. It's a very big encouragement for me to continue the series. And with no more delay, let's get right to the tutorial. So here is the open screen of Tinkercad. The first thing we need to do is import it, the STL file that we wanted to edit. So go to import, choose a file. Uh, my file is right now hanger. You can choose millimeter inches. My, the design is in millimeters, so just click and import. It's gonna take you some time to import this file into the uh, Tinkercad. From my calculation, it takes you 1 minute 30 seconds to get the file in. So here you have the Rhino in the file. This is Rhino head. Okay, this is original hole. What I need to do is I need to insert the new screw head that I desired free cast. So I'm gonna import that file also. You uh, can see in the description where to download both of the file, uh, of the CAD file of that screw head. So here you are, and um, this is the, the Rhino head and it is the screw head. I want to put this pink screw head in here in the back of this uh, Rhino head. So let's choose the work plan is the back of the Rhino. So easier for us to edit, let's go to back. And work plan, choose this face. Ta da. Okay, so we have is here. And you can see it's right on the back of that rhino already. Now we need to move this piece um, to the front. But before we do all of that, we need to set up a uh, coordinate for the plan. So let's move back here. I need ruler. I'm gonna set up the zero for this uh, thing. Let's choose it around the here. Okay. Okay, so now I, when I see like on the right now, it shows the a, um, the distance, uh, the coordinate of this uh, rhino head in this surface compared to the origin. So it was 68 by 90 and this is uh, 37 by 79. So we can edit this. Is in the way that it the center of the surface is dry in the center of the back of the rhino. So 68.90, so we can put a 34.68.9 divided by 2 is 30 uh, minus 34.45. So okay, so it's right here. And this is already in the middle of 47.26 divided by 2 is 23 by 63. So it's perfect. Okay, the last thing. Okay, the height is correct. So we don't need to edit anymore. The rhino is at the rubber uh, position. Now, the idea is we need to cut a hole in the rhino before we can add the block that we created in. So let go to the back surface and we need to cut a hole out of this rhino. This hole, uh, you can choose the hollow box and just put it, uh, let's turn off the uh, perspective so it's easier for me to, to see. This one I'm gonna put as zero to see how it, okay. Here, this hole has to be exactly the same dimension of the uh, screw head that we created and the screw head we created is 14 by 20 by 8.5. Let's do the same. This is 14 by 20 and by 8.5. Okay, good. Now we move it in the way that it's in the center of uh, the center of it. We match with the uh, center of the surface. 
let's say uh, this is 20 and this should be minus uh, 20 by 2 is minus 10 okay and this is 14 this should be minus 14 by 2 is uh, minus 7 so it's here right in the middle it's here good let's check on this position you see we want the hole inside the rhino head so instead of zero here we're gonna put minus 8.5 so now it's exactly at the position that we want which is here what we're gonna do now is combine the head of the rhino with the hole so we can cut a hole out of it let's see choose select the hole uh, so select the rhino and then select also the hole okay we can combine them together so now they already combine and you see it's a hole now okay yeah you see it's an empty hole right now now we need to move the screw head to that position uh, it's the same it should be uh, minus 8.5 okay then is minus 7 is 20 this one should be minus 10 ah uh, one more thing I forgot this thing had to be uh, let me see let me show you it had to be like this so I need to turn it minus 180 degree uh, let's see it right here okay I need to swap it exactly uh, minus 180 so there you go here the hole is correct now we just need to combine the screw head and the, and the rhino head together let's see like both of them and we just need to combine them give them some time okay now you see it become one five same color like this with the screw so it's done it's uh, quite fast compared to uh, fusion 360 and uh, of course it's it, it's not the same logic the logic is the same yet you cut the whole yeah thing but the way they did it different so uh, i don't know how to say to compare to blender um Blender is faster, but uh, it's harder in in positioning uh, the the object inside. But here is much easier. So now you have the file. Just let's export it to STL file, and we can compare it with the thing. Um, I'm gonna compare the S. Okay, so I'm gonna save it uh, where it should be. Now I need to um, I need to check it with uh the slicer process slicer to see if it's correct so uh, let's escape through here so here the fruitsha slicer a we can add the file that we can make right now hanger tinker cat open it okay let's have a look in the back here you see the hole we make is there already let us uh, slice it to be sure okay slide now Okay, what we wanted to check is the ending of it. See if the hole is put properly. Here. Yeah. So it was correct hole. It's fine. So we get what we want. But if you look at the uh, at the rhino, it's a little bit uh, not smooth. So let's check with the original file. Uh, rhino hanger. Let me see, let me see, where is it? Okay, I don't know her. But okay, I'm gonna put it uh, down also for you to compare. Okay. So, this is the... Uh, the real one is the uh, original file. And uh, now this... Sorry, the real one, the original file. The orange one is the file that we get from Tinkercad. And uh, if you look at the information the faces faces of the uh, green one is 236,900 faces and the um, the one that 
we might come think of that it's only 35,766 so that's it one thing even though they don't say anything but the intended cat they do uh, reduce the size of the uh, of the SDL file that you make so if you want to keep the original resolution you should go with something like Blender or the another limited of uh, limitation of Tinkercad is that the file you import should be less than 10 megabytes. More than that, they will not accept it. So that is two things. Um, resolution it will be reduced and the size will, limit, will be limited. Just for you to keep in mind when you need to edit um, STL file with Tinkercad. So uh, that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, we'll see you next time. Happy making!